So continuing with our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to discuss how we can test uh, the mobile browsers using APM. So until now, we have looked at how we can test the native apps. But as you know, uh, there are different types of apps, like there are web apps, and then there are hybrid apps, which is a combination of uh, web and native apps. In both the cases, you need to test the mobile browsers because these will be used by the applications. So let's see how we can test uh, a iOS mobile web application using APM. So for this, uh, let's look at the APM inspector. Now here, uh, I have already got a capability uh, set which is saved for this particular purpose. Now here, the only change uh, in terms of capability is an additional capability for browser name. And for iOS, it will be Safari. For um, Android, it will be Chrome, okay? So once you add this browser name Safari, then it is going to open the mobile browser using Safari app on your mobile. So let's go ahead and start the session. And then we will see that uh, it is going to open um, the Safari browser on our mobile device. Now uh, it will use uh, the APM website as uh, the default uh, URL. Here, if you look uh, at this, so this is the native app which you can see, and this is the web view of this particular app, okay? So uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, you can obviously browse to any particular website here. And then um, here uh, you have to also look at how you can identify different elements inside your mobile browser, okay? Now, uh, if you look at here uh, the info which uh, it displays for this particular uh, mobile application, it says that uh, certain web elements are only accessible through switching to a different context. We will talk about uh, what is a web UI context, but for now, uh, you can see that the web view inspection in APM inspector is less accurate than the dev tools of Chrome or Safari browser. So you should not use uh, the inspector to inspect different elements in your web view. You should do it uh, using the dev tools of your Chrome or Safari browser. That is more accurate and that is what I would also recommend. So now uh, let's go ahead and create a new uh, test here uh, to test our mobile web browser. Okay, so uh, we will call this a uh, web test. And this is under the iOS package, as you can see. And now uh, we will go ahead and copy this. And we will make changes, whatever is required to complete this test. So here uh, we need to remove this native app uh, capability. And then uh, we will add another capability here. So we'll call this browser name. Okay, and uh, the value would be Safari. So now let's go to a Safari browser. And for testing purpose, we'll be testing this particular uh, website, which is uh, the source demo website. Here uh, we would enter the username, password, and then click on the login button. So that's what our test should do uh, on our mobile browser, right? Now we need to inspect these elements so that we get the right locators, uh, which we can use in our test. So here uh, you can uh, inspect any element from the dev tools of any particular browser. This is for uh, Safari, you can do it for Chrome as well. So uh, we'll right click here on the username and then uh, here you will see uh, on the HTML document that uh, it has got different locators. So we have got the ID, which we can use, which is mostly unique, right? So we will use this and uh, we will go back now here and we will uh, edit our test here, okay? So uh, we will remove this. And here uh, the first step is to navigate to that particular URL, okay? And for that we will use a method known as the get method. Okay, using this, you can navigate to any particular URL. So here uh, we will pass the URL. So let's go ahead and copy the URL. And then uh, we will come back here and we'll paste it here. Okay, and then uh, we will say driver dot find element. So here uh, we will use the by locator uh, and we'll use the ID. 
and then uh, we will go back here and let me copy this username which is the id value so come back here and we will use it and then we will uh, send some value into this which we can do using the send keys okay so here we can pass uh, whatever value we want to pass which is the username uh, value so uh, if you look at uh, this particular website, uh, it has already provided you some usernames. So let's use this username here and we'll paste it here. And then again, we will use the driver.find element. Again, we'll use by.id. And this time around, uh, we will search for the password locator. So here uh, we will right click and then inspect element and this also id is password so we'll go ahead and use this and then again send keys and here uh, we'll go back and we'll copy the password and we'll use it in our test the final step uh, is to find the locator for the button so let's go ahead and let's uh, inspect this login button and here we have got another id which we can use so come back here and we'll say by dot id and then we will say click also here uh, we should use some kind of wait mechanism so that we wait for all the elements to be loaded when we are going into a particular uh, application or uh, any particular website okay so for that uh, we'll use driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait okay and here we will pass uh, the duration dot okay and so that's the maximum amount of time uh, which it will wait until all the uh, elements on this page are loaded after this it will perform all these different steps okay and then we will close the driver. So it is very similar to a Selenium uh, web driver test, but here we are performing this test on the mobile browser instead of the real browser. So here we are using the capability uh, for browser name, which will open um, the Safari browser, and then it will perform all these different steps, which is using the web driver API. Now, before we run this particular test, uh, we need to make another important change. Now, since we are using some of the common web driver methods, uh, we need to change the iOS driver to uh, the APM driver, okay? And uh, similarly, we need to change it uh, during the instantiation so that it instantiates the APM driver with all the capabilities. So now we can run this test. Uh, also, I think uh, we should not be using this version one on the URL. So make sure you remove this before you execute this. Okay, so it should be sourcedemo.com. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this now. And let's look at our simulator. So here uh, it will open the browser. It will go to the default URL and then uh, it will move to the URL which has been specified by us, which is the source demo website. And then if you looked at it, uh, it entered into the username and then the password, and then it clicked on the login button. Now we can put a lot of other validations uh, in place uh, to check whether uh, it is actually clicking on the button and moving on to the next page. And then we can continue our automation um, accordingly, right? So. Uh, it will be very similar to what we have done right here. So we'll find out the locators of different elements uh, using the dev tools in the browser. And then uh, we will use the different methods which are available um, in the APM web driver. And we'll use these methods uh, to automate all the steps. Uh, we'll use all the validations like we have been using until now. So this is how you can automate your mobile browsers, be it Safari for iOS or Chrome for Android. Using APM, uh, you have to use the APM driver and then you can use all the different web driver methods, which uh, are very similar to what you use in Selenium.